you guys see how this uh, exactly you guys have to see when you are visiting or familiar with this Hey everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I hope that you guys are doing great despite this COVID-19 pandemic. And so today, I'm going to take you around in some cities in the French-speaking cantons, such as Montreux, uh, Vevey, Morges, Lausanne, and if possible, I'll take you around to discover the Lake of Geneva, All right? So, right now, I'm at the uh, Geneva train station, namely Cornavant, and from this Cornavant train station, you can go to uh, Grenoble. Uh, Valence, Lyon, Paris, and Milan, Italy, or Frankfurt, Germany. And, you know, the inland transport within this country is very well integrated, and also in European, in, uh, for the European pattern. <laughs> and this train is coming. My train is going to uh, Montreux. It's coming. So, you know, I, I better get uh, get on board. I don't want, because I don't want to miss my train. So I'm going to say you around. Stay tuned. That was a short introduction of my surreal videos that will guide you to follow what I'm showing you in this video. After making videos um, with quite long duration in Montreux, I realized that I didn't have sufficient memory in my phone and also I had no battery. Therefore, I couldn't film Montreux's train station before and uh, in the course of departing for VV. Luckily, I could manage to delete some files and charge my phone when I was in the train so that I have more space and enough battery to film VV. Arrived at the uh, VV train station and I'm going down to the lake to see what's going on in the lake. So let's go down. From the train station to the lake, it takes about 10 minutes on foot and right now I'm in the park just by the lakeside. This park must be full of people during summer but not sure in this summer this year. Yo guys, I'm in now in Vevey, Canton Vaux. It's very close from Geneva and I'm exactly on the side of the uh, Lake Vevey, Lake Le Mans, uh, people say this. And as you can see, you know, it's Far there in front of, uh, in this video in front of me, there's a, a very nice um, mountain with snow on top of this. And also, I guess uh, when winter comes, oh no, well, winter, when summer comes, people are uh, swimming over the lake. I mean, here in the lake. As uh, today, you probably cannot see that no one is swimming on the um, on the lake because I guess the. The temperature of the water is still cold, although the um, the air is quite warm today. So yeah, as the sun and the weather temperature is w very warm, so these tree is producing flower. See that?
You'll be surprised guys, look at this. I'm not sure about the name of this canal, but just want to show you how clean this canal is. On both sides of this canal, visitors can sit down on the concrete banks, taking off their shoes and uh, feeling how fresh the water is. If you happen to come here, then I suggest you take your time to enjoy yourself on a relaxing weekend or holiday. I'm not sure where the water comes from, but seemingly it's coming down from the mountain to, to the lake or maybe from the city. Along the lake of Geneva in Vivi, you will find out that there are small parks and playgrounds where people can hang out and children uh, enjoy themselves. All is very well maintained. I hope, this, I hope that this also happens everywhere in Indonesia. I'm now in La Grande Place, it's like big square. This square is served as a, a fork market or marché folklorique at certain days. I feel like if I were in Italy guys because I hear people are shouting in Italian language. Well, they are Italian though, so uh, that's normal that they are speaking in their mother tongue. This is the uh, Chateau de Lai. Uh, it's constructed from 1840 to 1846, owned by the family of Coffre, a local politician in Vevey. It's now served as a multi-purpose castle. And just behind the Grand Place, you can visit the old city of Vevey. You guys now know that on the northeastern shore of Lake Geneva, Vevey offers mountain views at every turn. It passes along the old town and by uh, some of the town's museums. For the most picturesque stroll, head to the town's lakeside, tree-lined promenade, uh, Key Perdoni. Keep an eye out for the bronze of an Ukrainian, uh, Ukrainian writer, I mean, and a Shopland statue near the alimentary food museums, as well as the huge silver, uh, silver fork sculpture rising up of the lake. This is the thing that exactly you guys have to see when you are visiting Vivi. A giant fork installed in the lake. Do you think you can use this fork to enjoy your meal? You guys decide. And just be in front of this uh, fork behind me. There's a, there's a very, very famous statue of Charlie. Charlie Chaplin was a comedic British actor uh, who became one of the biggest stars of the 20th century's silent film era. He lived in Vevey from 1953 until his death in December 1977. The building in front of me uh, that you guys are seeing right now is Alimentarium Food Museum. Before turning it into a museum, this building was the headquarters of Nestle. I've read somewhere that this Alimentarium Museum is indeed fascinating. Certainly it shows you know, all about food. Speaking about food is always tempting. Well, who doesn't like food anyway? Right now I'm just in front of the Alimentarium Food Museum and about to enter to discover what do they exhibit in the interim of COVID-19 pandemic. Well, this is the temporary exhibition with the title, a book, Yuck and I Git. It says that uh, the food we love to hate. This museum takes this panoply of material to present an interactive and engaging contemplations of the emotion of disgust, analyzing it from cultural, religious, social, historical, and scientific aspects. This one, in Switzerland becomes an art, <laughs> but in Indonesia it's a place for fruit 
or for uh, rice. Let me show you what is above this tree. Ah, nice. The good cutlery. Yeah, there's knife, filter, etc. Unfortunately, the museum is not open because of COVID. So yeah, this is the cafe, little cafe for everyone. No, no, ça va. Et voici. Voilà, merci beaucoup. Merci. Merci. Et là. Je sais pas. Hein? Comment? J'arrête pas de faire. Et you guys see how this? Uh, I don't know. It's kind of like silver, but it's no way. But he create his own wave. Ah, okay, c'est fini. Oh wow! <laughs> Let's see how he starts the riding. Ah, she like this. Wow. Wow, c'est cool. Ça va vite quand même. So I went out of the Alimentarium Food Museum and enjoyed my coffee just by the lakeside while uh, watching the servers who used a surfboard with foil. The foil attached um, below the, the board uh, allows them to create own waves underwater. I guess it's really fun to try this one day. Summertime better than today even though the air temperature is warm but water can be bitterly cold. Mm -hmm.